Hello everyone and welcome to my first video on this channel. This channel will be dedicated to tutorials and education about the LEGO EV3 Mindstorm software. Today we will be going over installation and basic user interface walkthrough. So the first thing you need to do is go to the description and click on the download link. This will bring you to this site and from there you can select what operating system you have and your preferred language. Now that you've clicked that, you can hit this download button right here and it will start downloading into your downloads folder as you can see at the bottom left. Now this may take a while depending on your internet speed so don't worry if it takes a second. Alright, there we go. So now we can see at the bottom left that the installation is complete and we can click on this little tab. Once it hits that, it will ask you if you want to give the permissions to allow the app to make changes to your device and make sure you hit yes. Once you do that, it will start extracting. As you can see here, this, this part should not take too long. Now you can change where you want it to download. The original is in my C drive, but because I don't have too much space there, I'm going to change that to my D drive. That way I'm ensuring that there's enough space to fit the entire software. Then you hit next, and I would hit teacher edition, because the teacher edition provides additional information and resources that are very useful. The student edition is basically a little bit limited in its, in its resources. Make sure you hit accept, and accept again. And there you go. Now it is downloading. Once it's done downloading, it will tell you that the installation is complete. Make sure you hit finish. And there you go. Now you have downloaded the LEGO EV3 program. Now if you want to go to the bottom left and hit search, you can search for Mindstorms Education EV3. Here you will see the app pop up and just hit enter. Once you hit enter, the app will start to run and now you're in the program. You'll get this pop-up message and just hit close. You'll see an update is available, but this is for the EV3 break firmware. This is not for the software itself. So just hit OK. On the left, you will see your different tabs. Here, you can see all the way up the top, model core set. This is where you can find model instructions on how to build different, different, uh, different robot models from your core set. So here you have Gyro Boy, Color Sorter, Puppy, and Robot Arm. Next, you will see Quick Start. Here you can see the user guide, where you'll find an overview using this, this link and a programming guide. Here you can see some basic EV3 programming using this video. There are also some other quick little tutorials on how to use the different functions of your new program. Next you have your file tab. Here's where we will be spending most of our time. If you go to open project, you can open a, a safe project that you've done earlier. Since we don't have any, any open projects right now, any saved projects, we can't really use this right now. So next, you have new project. This is where you want to make your first program or experiment. The difference we will go into later. And next, you have open recent. This will just select a recently opened project, which again, we don't have any. Next on the list is Robot Educator. Here you can find many different tutorials on the basics and of building and programming your EV3, such as hardware. Uh, here you can see Beyond Basics, and hardware, data logging, tools, building instructions, and a teacher's guide, which you may or may not need. And then at the top, you will see file. Under file, you can open a new project. You can also open an old project, and you can exit. In edit, you can change your language and cut copy, paste, undo. 
tools here's where you will update your firmware so the, uh, the pop-up that we saw earlier we will be able to update it from here and for help you can always check for support from at lego so now if we go to our file and hit new project hit program and hit open now you're inside the project folder in the middle area here you can see your program right now we only have the play button but we can drag and drop any blocks that we want we don't really know what these mean yet but we'll get to that later at the top you'll see the same file edit tools and help and here you can see your project so this is your first project if you want to add another you just hit this and there you go now you have two projects going at the same time then you can close this out and now you only have one here now you, here you have your first program I can add another program if I wanted to add two programs and that have different functions and different different functionalities or I could also start an experiment this is an experiment an experiment allows you to track and graph real-time information using your EV3. This can be especially useful if you're trying to get the exact angle of a turn using a gyro sensor or finding the distance between you and an object using an ultrasonic sensor. There are many uses of this and it will become a vital resource for you in the future. If we go back to here, we can see at the bottom right our brick. This is where we can connect our computer to the actual EV3 itself. You can connect it through USB, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi if you have the Wi-Fi dongle. I personally like Bluetooth because it means that I can, have, I can have the EV3 wirelessly and I can have it much further. Here, the next one down will be port view. In port view, you can see all of the different ports on your EV3, A, B, C, D, and 1, 2, 3, 4. If I had an EV3 connected, it would show me each sensor or each motor that are connected to these ports. It would also give me live readings of all of those sensors. So if it's a color sensor, it may give me a light intensity level. Or if it's a gyro sensor, it may give me an angle. Here you will see the EV3 information, such as name and stuff like that. We, we don't really need that part. We mostly focus on the port view and the connection. And then on the bottom, here is our tray. On the tray, you will find all of the different programming blocks that you would need. And then at the top right, you will see the different icons. Here you can see your list of programs. Here you can change the, the mode of your mouse from either select, which will allow you to select different blocks like that, or pan. Now you can move around with the mouse. I like to keep it at select. Here you can make comments. If you click on this, a little gray box will show up and you can place it wherever you want. This is especially helpful for longer and more com complicated programs because you can uh, add information such as here we turn right. So if you have a very complex program, it may be difficult to identify where the problem is. But if we have comments, you can quickly see, oh, this is the problem, and click quickly change it. This is a very big time saver. But right now, we don't need it, so I will delete it. Here you can save your program. Here you can undo. So if I hit that, boom, my, uh, my comment returns. Or I could hit redo, and there it goes. Here you can change zoom. So if I want to zoom into my program or zoom out, that will do that. Here you can reset your zoom. And this is a content editor where you can upload text, images, videos, sounds, and uh, your webcam. I think that is it for today. And this was a pretty basic UI walkthrough. You now have the program downloaded and ready to play with and learn from. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And make sure to comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you.